Hello, Ray Phoenix here, and this is welcome to this Let's Play of Mega Twins by Capcom Part One. So, first you have to name our character like we do in those Legend of Zelda games. That's gonna call him Ray. Why not Ray? You don't have a choice of which twin you get to play. It's not like it's Genesis counterpart. That has a different name. It's for some reason called Cheeky Cheeky Boys. I don't know why they have a different name. They're clearly the same game. It's have a different name on different systems. And now Cheeky Cheeky Boys in the sake of Genesis is rare thanks to Mark from Classic Game Room for promoting that game. And now everyone wants it now. But this is a different version. This is the version that's on the Capcom Classics Collection for the PS2. This game's pretty good. It's hard as, as hap, but it's still pretty fun. The sound is absolutely annoying. It's filled with annoying sounds, annoying explosions. But when you run low on health, it makes it not just on, 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 then now I'm pretty sure that clearly Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber has never played this game before. If he did, he would say that that's the most annoying sound ever. Not, because he said that that was the most annoying sound ever, but no, that's him. the slow health sound in this game is the most annoying sound ever. We're gonna have to kill these rock people. I don't know rock people ever did to me. Come on, they're rock people. What did rock people ever do to you? It's more like I did something to them. And now I hold the white flag. The French flag, as some may say. And the rock things are closing in. The stalactites, or whatever the heck they're called. And there's food I've picked up, and... See, yeah, Mega Twins is a pretty messed up game. You really know it right now. We're in the game. We will find this is one of the most messed up games you could ever imagine, ever. It's like Legend of Zelda on crack, almost. It's like Legend of Zelda with a 2D side-scrolling platformer, and the people who made the game did some pretty serious drugs. I mean, like, like, pretty, like, stuff that makes you see things that aren't really there, where you get weird ideas. You'll see why later in the game. Just get, you'll see why later in the game why I think that. This game is pretty bat crap insane. This stuff, this game's a definition of insane. You know how insanity looks and sounds like? Go watch this game. This, this, I thought Jumping Flash is pretty insane. I was wrong. Clearly, I stand corrected. This game is absolutely insane. Like, absolutely out of its mind insane. I don't know what the people who made this game were thinking. But, this is the game. Mega Twins. No, this game has nothing to do with Mega Man. Even though it's made by the same people who made Mega Man, this game has absolutely nothing to do with Mega Man. So I don't expect to see any Mega Man in this game or Mega Man reference. Okay, there might be one subtle Mega Man reference later on in the game, but we're not there yet. We just completed the first level. You can see the rock level, not Princess. Oh, hello, welcome, we're here. Yeah, 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 I know you're going to give me something. Come on, just give it to me already. Give me the money. Okay, so shut up and take my money. Okay, yeah, fair. So now we're in heaven, as you can see. Oh, uh, we're up in heaven. We're everything's supposed to be beautiful. I mean, oh, there's a bunch of people I can meet up in heaven. You know, I could, you know, I had a dream once that I met Alec Guinness. The guy that played Obi-Wan in the original Star Wars trilogy. He hated Star Wars in real life. He was, he hated being Obi-Wan. He was playing his role Obi-Wan. I had a dream once I met him, and I chatted him for a bit. He actually liked me, because I told, because I spent the whole time, a whole hours talking with him on end, and I didn't bring up Star Wars once. I actually brought my distaste for, for the entertainment empire, for the media empire and everything like that. I brought up about him. I told him about my opinions on which are not good, and he agreed to me on that, so that's why he kind of, we got along very well. I also came up a theory that dead people can see you in your dreams. I swear, I see dead people in my dreams. I see dead people, and they don't know I'm dead. Yeah, and there's another time where I'm like, I see stupid people, and they don't know they're stupid. Yeah, and then there's me fighting frickin', what do you call that thing? I know that. No, no. And see, that's that sound of stuff, that annoying sound. Right now. It keeps doing that when you're low on health. It's so obnoxious and annoying. I just want to rip my ears out whenever that sound comes on. It's like, eh, it doesn't sound as annoying as I'm editing it, you because know, I'm putting in them, like, editing software on my computer and editing it. But if you play the actual game, it's annoying as hell. It's one of the most annoying things in the history of annoying things. If you think your sister is annoying, you guessed wrong. If you think your mom's annoying when she's doing, when she's doing, when she's making a fool of herself, dancing to lame hip hop music, you guessed wrong. This game is a lot more annoying than that. And oh look, another boss. Who's it gonna be this time? God? No, it's a two-eyed dragon. Come see with a turtle shell on its back. So it's like a turtle, kind of like a hybrid of a turtle and a dragon. Well, I learned from, as I learned from playing Spyro too, turtles and dragons actually are a lot alike. Yeah, too bad it's not Spyro. 
Oh, it could be worse. It could be part Barney the Dinosaur. Hi, kids. I'm Barney the Dinosaur. I love you. You love me. Let's all go and kill Barney. Barney actually did die once in real life at the Macy Thanksgiving Day Parade in 1997. They had the Barney float out. And then it got stuck on something, or got caught on something, or hit something. I don't remember what happened, but it got caught in something. And then it, it, then it got, then it started leaking out air, flew all over the place. Eventually it deflated until it was nothing more but a deflated balloon out on the street. Justice was served that one thankful day in November of 1997. Uh, 1997, that year holds the record around the most amount of interesting things. They started altering Star Wars in that year, which wasn't that good. But that's the year Hong Kong, the British gave Hong Kong back to China, and Smash Mouth released their first album. The first Austin Powers movie was released. Um, what else happened in 1997? Some Chinese diplomat or some Chinese leader died in that year. Um... A lot happened in 1997, that's the most I could say. There's a lot more that I'm missing. But that's all I can think about. Okay, so this guy, this creature guy's gonna give me something else special. Oh look, this time we're going under the sea. We all live in the yellow submarine. The yellow submarine. The yellow submarine. Yeah, and after I sink, when I sink and die, it's gonna be, I'd like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden in the shade. You know, like that. I wonder if there's any octopuses' gardens in this game. Well, I know these crab things have gardens. Isn't crabs a disease? I don't know. I don't know much about diseases. But I'm pretty sure there's a disease called crabs out there somewhere. I have the magic typhoon, the thing that devastates Australia all the time. Magic typhoons. I see. I see you on that crab thing. On crab meat from Sonic the Hedgehog. Even though this game came out a year before the first Sonic the Hedgehog game came out. And you killed a snail. Yeah, I guess, again, what did snails ever do to us? They're just there. He never did anything to us. You know, the guy I used to watch on YouTube a lot, his name, he's a wise old man. His name was Stan Birdman. He used to say that, you know a game sucks when things that aren't a threat in real life are a threat to you in the game. Well, there's tons of things there in this game that are threat, that are not threats in real life that are threatening you in this game that take away your health and things like that. So clearly, Stan Birdman was in touch. You, but no, I just, I can't. I really like Stan Birdman. I remember when you when you made that start that campaign in 2008. Where he was asking people which system he should buy, a PS3 or an Xbox 360. From a 2008 perspective, I would have said PS3. Come on, it's PS3. Those PS3s played PS1 games. Those type of PS3s played PS2 games. Plus, they played Blu-rays as well. What could you, what could you go wrong with it? An Xbox 360 has very limited com backwards compatibility of original Xbox games. I'm not a big fan of the games on the Xbox 360 much myself. And also, Xbox 360 support that dead format, the HD DVD. Remember HD DVD? Remember that failed format? Yeah. Sony got their Revenge of Blu-ray. Makes up for the time when Sony lost in the 80s when they came up with Betamax tape. Yeah, Betamax, I don't know, I never really used Betamax much in my day. I preferred VHS, well, VHS is all I ever used, I like DVD more than VHS. I even like Laserdisc more than VHS, but again, I never really used Laserdisc that much. I never really knew anyone that had a Laserdisc player when I was a kid growing up. I still, to this very day, I still don't really know anyone that has a Laserdisc player, I ever saw anyone, or knew anyone that had Laserdisc, or used Laserdisc. But I heard it's really good, I mean, I heard Laserdisc was pretty good. Despite the fact that the discs are large and most full movies don't fit on single laser discs, there's a lot of flipping and flopping around. But overall, yeah, it was still it was still pretty good for what it was, considering the fact it was made in like 1978 or something like that. Okay, so Aquaman's gonna give me something. Okay, now I have the third gift, which is given to me by Aquaman. Thank you, Aquaman. Looks like you're not that bad of a superhero after all. And that's the end of this video. Ray Phoenix signing out.